This is a patient's 3D printed aorta. In this lab, engineers are able to simulate exactly what happens in a specific patient's heart. So what the simulator is currently doing right now is imposing physiological flow and pressure through the patient's aortic valve. It's a state-of-the-art model that allows experts to predict common complications in aortic valve surgeries, such as leaks, coronary blockages, and blood clots, giving patients like Bernice Belcher a greater chance for a full recovery. I trusted my physician, and I felt that they knew where they were doing. Bernice is thriving after her heart procedure thanks to a unique collaboration between doctors and engineers prior to surgery. Experts at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center used CT scans to create an exact 3D printed replica of Bernice's aorta. They then connected it to a heart simulator and reproduced the conditions of her heart and blood flow. The ability to try and predict which valve will rest in there the most effectively and have the least amount of leak and not impinge upon a adjacent structures is critical. Doctors and engineers then evaluate the results to confidently choose the best approach, valve, and placement for the patient, avoiding complications that can arise after the valve is implanted. This 3D reconstruction and modeling has directly informed uh, the way we attack some procedures. By doing these experiments, we are able to come up with the best possible scenario for that patient. Every patient's heart is a little different, and every patient's heart valve is going bad in a different way. Knowing all of this ahead of time and which synthetic valve would best fix the problem means fewer surprises for the surgeon and better results overall. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.